Hello my dear friends, you are in the military summary channel, in this short video we are going to discuss the most important events that took place during the previous night of the local time. The Ukrainians published more videos of their missile attack against the Russian positions, against the Russian raiders, against the Russian e electronic warfare equipment that located on the south of Kherson. As a result of strike, the sources are saying that probably those were attacks of HIMARS or other sources reported that those were attacks of Neptune missiles or another type of weapon. Anyway, as a result of those strikes, the Russians lost a uh, few uh, vehicles, few special vehicles that the main purpose was to suppress the drones and to help support the Russian air defense forces in this region. And one more time, this is a very, very problematic area for the Russians. This is not the first case when the Ukrainians managed to achieve a success. If you remember, and if we increase the number of updates from this bridgehead, we remember, from this foothold, we remember that a few days ago, the Russians, a uh, few weeks ago, the Russians, the Ukrainians made a strike against the Russian positions along the islands with, uh, with HIMARS, and that attack was pretty successful. A little bit later, we got update how the Ukrainians managed to discover the Russian military exercises and as a result of strike the small platoon of Russian forces were destroyed. A little bit to the east from this area the Ukrainians destroyed S-300 system also with the same squad with the same type of weapon problem with the HIMARS or Neptune missiles. A little bit to the south a few days weeks ago we got updates how the Ukrainians destroyed another S-300 system. So basically we see that situation is very critical for the Russians and currently uh, when talking about let's let's call it the battle of the northern part of the Black Sea is uh, develops in Ukrainian favor. Of course the Russians from their side attacked almost every single day. Idea support uh, the ports in, in uh, uh, Reni, in Ismail, but we haven't received such videos of destroyed EW uh, equipment and uh, S-300 systems. So we'll follow the situation. Um, I'm not thinking that the Ukrainians are planning to make landing operation because they don't have enough of resources, but currently the main purpose of these attacks, of those attacks, were to test and suppress and destroy Russian air defense system. And as soon as the Ukrainians are able to do this, they will continue bombing and shelling the ammo depots and warehouses on the territory of Crimea. Now we are moving further to robots in the bridgehead, to robots in the flower. Today we got more updates from the Russian sources. If you remember yesterday we discussed that probably the Russians were forced to step back and as a main evidence I told you that the main uh, drone squad Babri was moved further in deep inside of Russian defense belt and they for, and that forced them to chew, to uh, to reduce the the possible area of their activity and we uh, and we decided that to wait more to get more evidence and today we got another update from the from Babri squads also from Narabotina which uh, this is probably another confirmation that the Russian main artillery forces and drone forces were forced to step back as far as possible from the combat line just in security uh, for the insecurity uh, like um reason for the security reasons. Uh, furthermore, we got more updates how the Ukrainians were moving, sending more and more infantry inside of the settlement uh, using the living road. And as you can see, uh, just on this video, five armored vehicles were already destroyed and the Russians published another destroyed vehicle. So the Ukrainians, um, they are not counting their losses. They are sending more and more infantry forces, armored vehicles, light vehicles inside of Rabotsna with one purpose to develop the bridgehead and to force the Russians to step back further from the outside skirts of the settlement and some Russian sources have already calculated the number of losses, confirmed losses of the Ukrainian forces and for example just geolocated confirmed losses of the Ukrainian forces between Rabotina, Mala, Takmashka and Verbara were around 120 pieces of armored vehicles. It's Those were just confirmed and basically and of course there, there are much more um, losses, uh, may, more armored vehicles and one, so probably maybe up to two or three hundred um, units. Currently, the Ukrainians try to develop their positions and their flower of Rabotina in three directions that we discussed. They try to dig in deeper in Rabotina. They try to uh, attack and destroy and reduce the Russian um, at positions in Verbova. And today we got more updates about how the Ukrainians were discovering, tracking and attacking the Russian armored vehicles, ammo depots and concentration of forces in the settlement. So it's just a regular routine before the next phase of attack when the Ukrainians will send the armored 
climate vehicles and tanks. Another video we got from from the vicinity of Nova Pakrovka, but uh, on this video we might see the process of storming, of assaulting by the Ukrainian forces the trenches in the vicinity of this area. We will not watch these videos because the casualties and close combat between the Russian and Ukrainian forces. So uh, the Ukrainians continue developing process. They still have time, but uh, something tells me that they will not be able to complete their creation of the flower before the end of September, and they will be forced to stop and to freeze the conflict till the next year. When talking about the Rimivka tactical bridgehead, Russians published today another series of videos of complete artillery superiority from the Russian side, another portion of armored vehicles, artillery system, ammo depots, and, you know, and uh, Ukrainian concentration of forces were destroyed, attacked by the Russian artillery systems, by the Russian Lancet forces. Uh, and when talking about the Ukrainians, uh, another day when we haven't received another night to be more precise when they haven't received nothing from the ukrainian side regarding counter artillery duel or something like this it's complete superiority from the russian forces complete suppression of ukrainian forces and to tell the truth i'm not sure whether the ukrainians are able to launch anything in this direction because um, if they want to attack first they need to suppress artillery but when we see these um, pictures these videos of complete russian superiority i see that there are no chances for the ukrainians to develop anything and if maybe they are able to develop but before they're able to develop before they can develop anything first they need to do the same job as the russians are doing right now to suppress to destroy to attack uh, we haven't received nothing from Donetsk front line and now we're moving to Bakhmut Artemov's direction. Uh, today the Russians published the video how the Ukrainian reconnaissance squad uh, tried to uh, make some investigation or intelligence operation in the vicinity of Andreevka. The Ukrainian troopers were discovered, were spotted, uh, then the Russians made artillery strike against the Ukrainian forces that were moving in, uh, between the forest lines between Andreevka and Canal. So no activity, just reconnaissance operation. Today, the Russians reported about heavy explosions in Drushkovka, in the probably in the railway st station, and the Minister of Defense published also a video which I haven't geolocated yet. Probably by the next video, we will uh, take a look where exactly the Russians managed to destroy another uh, trains with munition that Ukrainians were trying to send to the combat line. Uh, on the northern flank, the same story. The story uh, and story is that the front lines in the combat line are completely stabilized. No attempts from the Ukrainian side to attack. Just more reconnaissance operation, trying to movements move between the buildings. And uh, from the Russian side, they are attacking and trying to suppress any Ukrainian activity. When talking about the Kupians front line, the same situation. The Russian sources reported, uh, very re reliable Russian sources reported that the front line in the vicinity on the Kupinsk area was completely stabilized. They, neither the Russians nor the Ukrainians currently try to develop. Uh, the Ukrainians managed to redeploy a significant number of reinforcements. The Russians had a uh, lot of forces before. Currently, there are like military routine by clashes along the checkpoints and strongholds between fields without any active clashes, active attempts from both sides to attack or to counterattack. Also, we got a very interesting update from Kiev. Uh, for example, today the Russian sources published the official documents of the Ukrainian authorities regarding the total mobilization that the Ukrainians are planning to launch in September. And uh, according to information we have, the Ukrainians are planning to uh, launch total mobilization in Chernigov region, in Sum region, in Dnipropetrovsk region, Odessa region, Zaporozhye region, Kharkov area and Nikolaev area. So basically the Ukrainians are trying and planning to launch mobilization exactly in the areas where we can find a sig um, uh, significant number of um, uh, Russian-speaking population. Chernigov is the border with Russia, Sum region is almost completely Russian. Odessa, we know how a lot of people support Dnipropetrovsk, it's very close to the combat line. So the Ukrainians are not planning to launch mobilization in the western regions that completely support Ukra uh, everything Ukrainian and mainly they are trying to mobilize just people from the regions that probably, um, according to the Russian sources, so maybe there is a very high chance that in the next two years the Ukrainians will be forced to leave as a result of clashes and as a result of this special military operation. And that's it for today. Military Summary channel reminds me to condemn any violence in the world. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes, join my Patreon. And have a good day. Bye-bye.